motor line on board ship. So water on the system connected to uh, LT motor, LT cooling motor system. And that uh, I will explain you in the drawing and it will give you an uh, idea about uh, how to trace the line with the help of drawing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is what you call it as LT cooling freshwater line. Huh? This drawing is LT LT low temperature cooling freshwater line. As I said uh, every time, we used to start uh, tracing line from the suction side of the pump. So as the name indicates, it's a low temperature cooling freshwater line. So I go from the suction side of low temperature pump that is LT pump. So you can see here, uh, we have three LT pump. One, one, two, three and I go for the suction side, I look for the suction side first. This is the suction, one, two, three and from where it is taking suction. So you can find here the arrow, arrow is coming towards here. So going backwards, going backwards. So this is taking suction from freshwater expansion tank, cooling freshwater expansion tank. So now I found from where the LT pump is taking suction. So the pump is taking suction from here and outlet. Outlet of the pump, one, two, three pump, three outlet. So in this, uh, there will be a pressure gauge, P indicates pressure gauge, C indicates uh, compound gauge and all this 003 and all indicates the number each and every valve number suppose this is suction valve number vpv and 069 is uh, discharge valve number and you can see the 450 uh, this 450 indicates the pipe dia so okay so now it goes we go for the discharge line uh. so it goes discharge so one line will be having a pressure switch uh. this is the pressure switch if uh, the lt line have low pressure this pressure switch will get activated and uh, alarm will come and it will start the other pump, standby pump also to compensate the pressure. Okay, so the discharge is going to here somewhere. You can see here, uh, there is a tapping over here and this is going to 2. This 2, what is this? Yeah, this 2 is, uh, what is this, what is this, what is this? Yeah, this is the LT cooler. This is number 1 LT cooler and this is number 2 LT cooler. So inlet and outlet. Outlet is coming to here. There is a three-way valve. If the temperature is okay, it flows out. If not, it goes back to the system. So here you can see two alarms. Eh? Temperature, uh, temperature alarm high and temperature alarm low. Two alarms will be there. And uh, so after this three-way valve, you can see outlet is having three tapping. Eh? One. 2, 3, 4. So I go for the first tapping. So first tapping is going and I follow the arrow mark and it is going somewhere here. So where it is going? It is going to air conditioner, air conditioner cooler. Okay. So it's going inside and outlet will come back to suction side of the pump. Outlet will come back to suction side of the pump. And then next is one more tapping and this is going to air con cooling fresh water pump it got two pump and both the suction it have and discharge of both the line will go to here you can see two air conditioner and one is to galley air con so again the return line come back this is the return line this is the inlet for both and this is the out, outlet for both outlet come back follow the arrow mark it come back to suction side of the pump so one two is finished and we go for the third one third you can see here one tapping this tapping goes to control room air con so inlet and outlet again goes to suction side of the lt pump and one more tapping it is going to what is this this is provision reefer reefer compressor cooler it goes inside for both the cooler it inlet, inlet and outlet go back to suction side of the uh, LT pump. Okay. So first tapping is finished and we go to the second tapping. So this will go, it is going one going here and one going here. 
so i go for the first tapping it go here and it is going to lubo oil cooler inlet and again the outlet will come back to suction side of the lt pump so the first tapping is already uh, first tapping is already seen and this is the second tapping it goes directly to number 1 number 2 number 3 air cooler of main engine so 1 2 3 and again the return line come back to suction side of the pump suction side of the lt pump okay so 1 2 is finish we go for the number 3 tapping first tapping we already traced second tapping we traced and this is the third tapping so from here it goes it goes again it takes one tapping so this tapping is going to what is this boiler water circulating pump cooler so this go now both the pump it have a cooling medium so again inlet outlet goes to suction side of the lt pump so next tapping you can find one more tap over here and this tapping is going to uh yeah this is going for generator generator inlet generator air cooler inlet and outlet as i said earlier it goes back to lt cooler section so next you go for the uh yeah next again third tapping one is going to tg air conditioner and uh, other is going to drain cooler so again all the exit all the outlet come back to your uh lt lt pump section so i'll i'll show you one outlet huh? so suppose yeah this is the air cool uh, lubo oil cooler inlet and outlet you can see yeah outlet just follow the arrow arrow come 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 and you can see it come back to the pump this is this lubo oil cooler outlet will come back to jacket cooling fresh water pump this is the high temperature and for this lt you can see yeah i will give you some example ah uh, okay this is your uh, stern tube blue boil cooler going inside this is a inlet inlet valve for uh, lt water and outlet you can see just follow the line it goes it goes and you can see it going to the you can see it goes to the suction side of the pump so that's all so this is uh, how you need to uh, trace uh, lt water line for uh, main engine because this lt lt system is called as centralized uh, cooling system so with this water you can cool all the system in this uh, in this ship it depends on the ship uh. some ship will be having a sea water cooling and some ship will be having a centralized cooling like uh, central cooling water system because uh, the idea is the sea water doesn't flow to all the system only fresh water will go to cool all the system that is the idea of having a central fresh water cooling system so i believe uh, this video must be giving you some idea about how to trace a lt water uh, system on board ship uh, if you have any doubt whatsapp me or comment in comment box definitely i will reply thanks for watching thank you